Have you ever been playing Starving Artist and you felt like your art is out of this world but no one is buying it? Well I know how that feels and I have a way to fix that. Stick around to the end to find out how you can change that. The main way I got out of that deficit was by making better art. And I know a lot of you guys think that you don't have the artistic abilities, which is the same with me. But there are a lot of tools and simple tactics that you probably aren't using that can make your art look so much better. First of all, you need to know what you're going to make. It is normally better to stick with the same topic when you are creating drawings. Like I like to make uh, game characters, and this is important because if people like one of your drawings and you have something dissimilar to it, they'll probably buy the other one too. After you have the topic you want to draw, then you have to start actually drawing. If you are drawing something like a character from a game or a mountain view, it's better to have a reference photo of it to make it easier to draw. I do want to note that since the canvas is pretty small, it's better to go for something that is either smaller or a portion of that thing. Next to make the drawing better is to shade the drawing to make it look more realistic and that the light is coming from the side of it. For this, you are going to want to go to the lightening and darkening brush, which is right here and then you scroll all the way down. These brushes can make the color of the drawing lighter or darker. So like if we want to make this uh, cloud darker, we just click on it a few times and it looks darker already. And if we want to make it lighter, you just click the lightening tool and then lighten it back up. And this is really good to make it more realistic. And when it's more realistic, people will like it more, so more people will buy it. Staying on topic with brushes, you want to make sure you are using them. I can't tell you how many times I've seen someone draw a night sky and they try and draw stars and a moon and it looks all wonky like this. Well, if you want to add a moon or star to your night sky, then use the star and moon brushes. You can change the size of them and can also change the color of them. These can make your night skies look so much better in your paintings. Just make sure you add a background first, otherwise you're going to get this really yucky white color behind them. A lot of people still use the starter art booth, which has no color and is all white. It is really bland and boring. Something you want to do is get to get more sales is to attract a person to your booth. To attract someone who's looking to buy your art, you want to change your art booth to stand out from the others. I like to use this one right here that has a lot of different colors that pop out. And I know people right now are saying, Oh, but doesn't it take Robux to get a different booth? And what I say to that is no. There are so many different ways that you can get a free booth, like joining their group, and they just give you one for free. And there are many different ways to get a new booth that will make your booth stand out. Another way to attract people is putting an effect or frame on your art. To get a frame, you just need the in-game currency called Art Coins, which you can get just from playing or someone buying your art. But you can go over to the eggs in the spawn area right here and roll to get a cool frame. So let's just roll right here. And we got an uncommon one, which you just need one that stands out, not one that is rare. To apply, go to your art right here. Then you need to click on Cosmetics. And then click on the frame, so let's do this, and then just click on this, and you can uh, put it on the next time you are trying to sell it. This one is optional, but if you want to do this, then you can add to your sign right up here to tell people what you do. This can show people the things that you are selling to them, and show them that they will like what you want. You can also put something like I have up here, I can make custom characters for people, but it will change the price, and then... It will might take a little longer, but it will mean more Robux because you can set it to more and then they will instantly buy it. And this will help just getting more sales if you want. These are some of the best ways to get more sales in Starving Artists. If any of these tips helped you, let me know in the comments and make sure to like this video if you want to see more content on Starving Artists and subscribe.